I'm Alan Waterman, makeup and hair designer. Uh, I've been working in the industry for about 30 years now, and um, I, the reason I was in Birmingham was because I did the BBC One show Hustle, which I used students from UCB at um, to come on to set to do work experience. Um, more recently, I've just been working on the BBC iPlayer, which is now gone to BBC One, Man Like Mobeen, which is a story based in Small Heath about um, uh, an actor called Gus Khan plays Mubeen, and it's a, a good comedy, and I had students out working on that with me as well. But my main, my main uh, skills are hair and makeup for TV and film, and I also run my own hair and makeup studio in the Jewellery Quarter. I think the three most important qualities about being a makeup, you need to be a makeup artist, is first of all to be on time, because um, nothing can really happen until your artist is ready. Um, also to take pride in your work, I mean, and that's not also just having a clean kit and being hygienic. It's about having all your techniques down, down to the best possible way you can. Um, and also, I would say, just to be kind and pleasant to everybody you work with, because I found that, before you know it, the runner that you're working with is now going to be the producer. So people do move up quite quickly in this industry, but I would say just be kind and, and pleasant to everybody that you work with, and that's the best way to leave a good impression. OK, the biggest, the biggest misconceptions about working in uh, TV and film makeup is that it's going to be very glamorous. I, I've spent many, many hours freezing cold, wet on set trying to make somebody look perfect. And that's one of the hardest things to do as, as a makeup and hair artist is, but first of all, look after yourself so that you can dress appropriately for, for whatever climate you're going to be in. And it's as hard working in the cold as it is working in the really extreme heat. Um, so they, they are some misconceptions that you would come across. Also, um, the hours are also very long, so you know it's it's not a nine to five job. So you are sometimes at work at five and not leaving till nine in the evening, especially if you're prepping prosthetics or wigs or anything like that. So um, it's a it's a really hard job, and you need stamina to to really go there, really. So um, yeah, uh, and it's not just about applying makeup. Uh, it's about being being a good friend to your artist. It's about being discreet. It's um, sort of just being a support to people really, so applying the makeup is sometimes not all about the job, it's, it's also having a, a really good personality as well, so they're important things to have. People skills. Work experience is really important when you're studying at, at college. Um, it's your first foot in the door to make a good impression with future employers, so any work experience that you can take, whether it's just shadowing at your local barbers or a hairdressing salon or beauty salon, um, it's just a fabulous way to kind of get your, get your face and name known, really. So the work experience is really, really valuable, I think, to, to be able to make contacts in the industry, because that's what it's all about, networking and contacts. So I really like to take students from UCB on work experience, because it will show me what potential they have to be a good assistant or trainee, and which is the first step into working in film and television. So. Any work experience you can get anywhere, whether it's your local theatre or, like I say, local hairdressers, or even if you go and shadow a makeup artist that you really like, just sort of, just just go for it really, and just take every opportunity because you just don't know who you're going to meet at any of these places. So, I would say work experience is really important.